are you all? I hope you all are fine. In today's video, we will learn about how to write standard form of a number. Let's start and first understand how to write standard form of a number. We will take some examples to how to write standard form of a number. Right, standard form of seven thousand plus five hundred plus thirty plus six. Right, the standard form of Seven thousand plus five hundred plus thirty plus six. While you are writing standard form of a number, first of all you have to find the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds. Once tens, once. What you have to do while writing standard form of a number? First of all, you have to find the places of each digit. After that, what is the last place from right to left? What is the last place? Thousand, right here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. You have to write that places. And what is the digit in ones place six? You have to write six in ones place. Next, what is the digit in tens place? Three. Three you have to write under tens place. Three. What is the digit in hundred place? Five, five. You have to write under hundred place. Next, what is the digit in thousand place? Seven. Now we will take another example to how to write standard form of number. Next. Write the standard form of eight thousand plus six hundred plus seven. Eight thousand plus six hundred plus seven. First, what you have to do? You have to find the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones. What is the last place here? Thousands. Right up to. Thousands. You have to write the places up to thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now you have to you have to write the digit under these places. What is the digit under ones place seven? 
here here there is tens place there is no tens place then what you have to do you have to write zero under tens place zero what is the digit under hundred place six you have to write six here next thousand place what is the digit near thousand place eight is eight what is the answer Eight thousand six hundred and seven. What is the answer? Eight thousand six hundred and seven. Again, we will take another example. Write the short form. S H O R T. Short form of a number. You can say standard form as short form also. Nine thousand plus fifty plus eight. Nine thousand plus fifty plus eight. How you will write? First, you have to find the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Nine is in which place? Thousands place. One stands. Five is in which place? Tens place. Ones. Eight is in which place? Ones place. Now, what is the last place? Thousands. You have to write places up to all places. You have to write up to thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now you have to write the digits in these places. In ones, in ones place, what is it is there? Eight. Eight you have to write. In tens place, what is the digit in tens place? Five. Five you have to write under tens place. Here hundred place is there? Not there. What you have to do? You have to write zero under hundred place. Next thousand place. What is the digit near thousand place? Nine. What is the answer? Nine thousand fifty-eight is the answer. Thank you, children. Standard or short form of numbers is a way of writing numbers using digits with correct sequence of place value. Just now we discussed. how to write the expanded form of a given number now it is the reverse of that that is expanded form is given to us and we have to write the short form of it here in the example the expanded form given is 7000 plus 400 plus 60 plus 1 so the standard form of this will be Seven, four, six, one. That is seven thousand four hundred sixty-one. Arranging them according to their place values: one at ones place, sixty at tens place, four hundred at hundreds place, and seven at thousands place. Remember. If any place value digit is missing, then we put zero there. Let's make it more clear with some more examples. Here are the expanded forms given to us, and we have to write the short form of the given expanded forms. Six thousand plus two hundred plus twenty plus three. So. Digit six will go in the thousands place. This two in hundreds place. This two in tens place, and this three in ones place. So the number formed will be like this: six two two three. That is six thousand two hundred and twenty three. The next number is four thousand plus five hundred plus forty plus one. Here, four will go in thousands place. Five in hundreds place. Four in tens place and one in ones place. 
4541. Moving on to the next example. 4000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1. So 4 in thousands place, 1 at 100 place, 1 at tens place and 1 at ones place also. So the number formed will be 4111 read as 4111. Moving on to the next number 2000 plus 900 plus 20 plus 9. 2 at thousands place, 9 at hundred place, 2 at tens place and 9 at ones place. So the number formed is 2929. That is 2929. Moving on to the next example. 6000 plus 80 plus 8. Now here you see there is no number at the hundreds place. So... 6 will go in thousands place. As there is no number at hundreds place, we will put 0 over there. 8 at tens place and 8 at ones place. So the number formed will be 6088. That means 6088. 2000 plus 800 plus 30 plus 1. 2 will go at 1000 place, 8 at 100 place, 3 at tens place and 1 at 1's place. So the number formed is 2831 that is 2831. 1000 plus 500 plus 20 plus 6. 1 at 1000 place, 5 at 100's place. 2 at tens place and 6 at ones place. The number formed will be 1526. That is 1526. I hope you all understood about how to write standard form of a number. Now it is a homework time. Write the standard form of these numbers. 7000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 4. 4000 plus 30 plus 7 3000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 2 5000 plus 400 plus 3 8000 plus 60 plus 5 Hope the concept of expanded form and short form is clear to you all. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Do practice sums and you will master the concept. Thank you.